What's going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna be discussing and I'm gonna be breaking down the number one mistake that I see a lot of introverts make. Now this mistake is gonna be based off my own experience, but it's also gonna be based off some of the more introverted clients that I've got. So, one of the things that we all have in life is an idea and the concept of an identity. And we ourselves give us that identity. And the identity is largely made up of everything that we feel that we are. So the way that we look, what we do for a living, our role within our friendship group, how our parents raised us, but also more individual characteristics. And one of the characteristics that people tend to assign a lot of value to is introversion and extroversion. And over the last few years, I have seen a real trend of people doing their own personal profiling. I've seen it in the workplace, but I've also seen people do it off their own back. One of the things that a lot of personal profiling tends to use is the idea of introversion and extroversion. And if you do a personal profiling test, it will actually tell you, tell you that you are one or the other. For those of you that have done your own research into introversion and extroversion, you'll realize that it's actually on a scale and very few people are truly extroverted and very few people are truly introverted. The vast majority, majority of us sit somewhere in between. But what tends to happen is introverts see the result and introverts read that they are introverted and they tend to put a lot of value and a lot of weight on that. And this is something that I used to do myself. I'm an introverted guy, like I've said, and I've definitely assigned a lot of my value and a lot of my role in life based upon that. So for me, that used to look like socially withdrawing, being very quiet, very timid. It used to mean that I never backed myself in the workplace. And it used to mean that I certainly never backed myself when I came to date. It's a very limiting way of looking at yourself and it's a very limiting way of looking at something that in the grand scheme of things really isn't that important. But it's something that I see a lot of introverts do. They place huge value on the fact that they are introverted and they define and they act in a way that they think best suits within that. So they'll socially withdraw. They'll decide that people won't want to date them because they're more quiet. They'll look at extroverts as being these mythical people that are just out there to outclass them these mythical people that are just out there to outshine them. And of course, in some cases that may pan out and in some cases that may be what actually does happen. But the reality is that both extroversion and introversion have pros and cons. But introverts don't always focus on the pros. They define and they choose to see only the cons. So let me tell you some of the pros now of being an introvert. And let me tell you some of the pros that I think will be massively helpful when it comes to date. I'm willing to bet that you are fantastic at building rapport. I'm willing to bet that when it comes to meeting somebody new, you're able to sit down, understand them, and really give them a conversation that makes them feel valued. I'm willing to bet that when you've connected with people, you've really connected, and that person has actually really gravitated towards you because you've made them feel valued and because you've made them feel connected. I'm also willing to bet too that you've probably got a lot more emotional intelligence than you probably give yourself credit for and I'm willing to bet that you're very capable of reading people and reading, the room, the, and reading the room around you in a way that an extrovert probably isn't. So I think you need to, if you're an introvert, really spend more time and really focus on those things. And I know a lot of introverts will be screaming at this video saying that those are all things that make you perfect for the friend zone. And of course, they are things that make you for perfect for the, for the friend zone, but they're also things that make you perfect for relationships. And they're also things that make you perfect for dates because if you think about a dating dynamic, it is very one-on-one -on -one focused and it is very much focused on just the dynamic of the two people that are on the date. So lean into those strengths, enjoy those strengths and just don't see the fact that you're an introvert as being a massive weakness. And that's it, just a really short video, but it's something that I've been thinking about and I think it's something that needs a lot more credit. If you liked it, please can I ask you to click like and subscribe down below. If you really liked it, I'm also offering one-on-one -on -one coaching at the website also down below. But as always guys, nothing but love, take care and I'll see you all in the next video.